Yeah, yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay. My name's Alyssa Tehran, and I'm with the CIEE program of Tropical Diversity and Ecology. And I get to do an independent project working with butterflies, which is really awesome. So for my project, what I was interested in is looking at the toxins um, excreted by this one type of butterfly called Papilio polynexus. And Papilio polynexus is a, uh, it's more of an American species. It's found very commonly in New York and a lot of temperate places. But it also comes down all the way to Costa Rica. And so I was interested in seeing if this species that has this toxin was able to fend off different types of animals that it's encountered here in tropical uh, regions as opposed to the temperate ones. Tempo the tropical regions have this one type of ant called a kind of Berkeley, and it's a very, very aggressive ant. It's called an army ant. And they're able to basically destroy large amounts of um, insects within a given area. So I wanted to see if these um, caterpillars actually had the type of toxins that are able to defend themselves or be able to uh, release. Now there's literature that says that there's a change in the toxin between the third instar and the fourth instar. And I wanted to see if maybe these guys could be able to um, show this trait. So I went around and I collected, uh, or I found different army ant colonies and I was able to test this theory. And so far I've been able to see that, yeah, um, with the osterium, the type of toxin is excreted by these but our, uh, caterpillars are actually able to fend off uh, the army ants. So that was really interesting to see because not a lot of known, is known about uh, this toxin in an ecological sense, only really more like the chemical side of things. So these guys actually are pretty impressive little individuals.